It's really cool. All right, so um, our friends from the media have questions for you, and we will do this uh, by numbers. And kindly to our friends, um, please wear your numbers so that we can uh, find you instantly. Let's start off with our first um, question. We have question number one. So, good morning. Okay. Hi, nice to see you again. I'm oh, Joy. Hi, nice to see you again. <laughs> yeah, I'm Joy, a pop culture blogger here in the Philippines. Um, so, my question is. Comic book fans are excited to see Iron Fist in costume. Are we getting the uh, iconic superhero bandana mask? <laughs> um, and and we, he's uh, wearing the costume. Um, how is it wearing the superhero costume for, for the first time on the show? Well, first of all, I can't give away any spoilers. <laughs> uh, unfortunately. But you will be seeing a mask. Uh, you might even see two masks. Ooh. Ooh! I can tell you're you're very tight-lipped about this. It wouldn't be, otherwise Marvel... Would have, <laughs> so basically Marvel has snipers on me at all times. Right. So if I give away any spoilers, they'll just shoot me dead on the spot. <laughs> so I've got to be very careful with what I we say. Have, we have Finn Jones lookalikes, you know, ready, you know, just Here, in case. Just take the bullet. <laughs> All right, thank you. And we have question number two. Hello, good morning. Hi, I'm Yanni from Yanni. I'm a blogger, and Hi. I would like to ask, uh, what part of filming Iron Fist do you enjoy most? Um, I, I enjoy all of the, the fight choreography. Um, I enjoy working with all of our cast members. We have a great cast, great team. Um, and I, you know what? I really, I really love working in New York. Like I live and I work in New York now and it's just a great city to work in and to live in. So that's probably one of my favorite things. Yeah, yeah. All right, thank you. And we have question number three. Yes, okay, our question is over here by the camera. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon, uh, Nico from a Geek. Um, so you're in Game of, you were in Game of Thrones, you're in your Iron Fist. To really popular shows in the geek community. Do you consider yourself a geek as well? And if yes, what series, show, movie, or whatever do you geek out the most when you watch it? Uh, yeah, I, I consider myself a geek. Uh, whatever that means. I mean, uh, if geek means that you're a fan of something obsessively, then yeah, I'm, I'm a fan of lots of things. Um, I, I actually like a lot of Studio Ghibli films. Um, I, I probably geek over those the most, but I just love them, but I just devour anything from that studio. Um, and I like music as well, so I geek, I geek off <laughs> geek off about music quite a lot as well. So. Alright, uh, thank you very much, and now we have question number four. Yes, hello. Okay, here's the mic. Hi, Ben. Hi, nice to meet you. Yeah. A uh, question from uh, the Finn Jones fans in the yes. world. They Ooh. enjoy actually your Danny Rand playlist. Angela, right? Yeah. Angela. So Angela here is probably one of my oldest fans. Not like, what, longest fans. Um, uh, Angela's been uh, following me on Instagram and Twitter probably for five, six years now. So it's nice to finally come over and Miller and actually meet you. So it's, it's wonderful to meet you. Hi. Okay. Um, okay. Sorry, what was the question? Oh yeah. Um, fan, actually, this is a phone-in question from some fans online. So they were asking, like, um, um, you usually make like a Danny Rand, you have a Danny Rand playlist, right? So yes. they're asking, one, when will the second playlist come out? And two, what inspires you to create playlists? Like, since you DJ all the time. Um, so, you're right, I should make a Danny Rand playlist part two. Um, I'm on Spotify, good, good underscore vibrations 11. So I already have lots of uh, playlists up there. And I guess, uh, I just love music. I love music. Whenever I hear it, I, it, I feel it, and I just have the, 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 the need to share it. So uh, it's not so much that anything inspires me to do it, rather than it's a, it's a need for me to, to, to listen to and then share music. It's just, uh, it's just a part of me, and it's something that I just love to explore and, and hopefully share, and hopefully other people connect to it. That's, that's the same as I have. So, yeah. so what a lot of people don't, uh, you know, might not know is that Finn here is actually a DJ, so you know um, he knows his music very well. And is it safe to assume that if you weren't an actor, you'd be a, you'd be working for a living as a DJ? Yeah, I mean, I I, I, I work as a DJ as well. Like I, yeah. I constantly have uh, gigs, so I, I do both. 
um, if if the acting ever dried up, of course I would continue to pursue DJ just because it's where my it's, it's one of the places where my heart resides. Was there ever like a, you know uh, like a, an event where we had both Sir Loris and Hodor as DJs? Oh yeah, this been yeah, <laughs> right. that's the, um, yeah I've played with Chris a few times. Uh, once in uh, Istanbul in Turkey. Really? Yeah, we should. That would have been really. Tripping. It was fun. Yeah, it was really fun. Chris was got a great taste of music, so it's always great to, to share a stage with him. That's right. Okay, so we've got um, number five. Hi, I'm Vince from ABS Event News. Uh, so my question is, uh, in Iron Fist Season 2, how is it like working with Jessica Kendrick this time? And can you tease a bit of what fans can look forward, uh, what scenes can fans look forward to starring you? Yes, without so, you getting sniped. Yes, without, without you getting sniped. sniped. So, uh, me and Jess are old friends. We were friends way before uh, we even joined Iron Fist. Uh, me and Jess worked on Game of Thrones together. And so, we have a friendship that goes back several years. Um, and so, it's wonderful working with Jess. She's an amazing actress, amazing person. And yeah, we have lots of scenes together this, this season, season two. Um, the season starts and, and me and Jess have moved in together, so now we're, we're living together in New York, uh, which is a really nice new dynamic which is brought into the show. Um, and yeah, there, there's just lots of really great scenes that you can look forward to between the two of us. Yeah. All right, now we have question number six. Hi, right here. Oh, there you go. Hey. Hi, Finn. Welcome to the Philippines. I'm Jill from academy.com. You mentioned Studio TV, so I'd like to know what was your most favorite movie of the uh, I mean, sorry. What's a uh, Studio Ghibli movie that you like the most? So, what, what was the question? I couldn't really What Studio Ghibli movie you like oh, the most? Oh, uh, that's a good question. Um, I really like Pompoko, the one with the raccoons. I, that's, I, I love that one. Uh, I love Ponyo. Ah, oh, oh, Ponyo! Oh, oh, little fishy. Little fishy. Little uh, <laughs> House Moving Castle, fantastic straight away, like classics. Uh, Grave of Fireflies, very different tone, wonderful movie. Um, oh my god, what other ones? So that's what you geek about. Yes, I, 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 I love them all. I love them all. I can't wait to have a trial so I can, I can show them those movies. I think they're very special and uh, it's just wonderful storytelling, wonderful animation. Alright, now question number seven. Hello. Hey, Oh, hi. <laughs> hi. Nice to see you again. Hi, I'm Patty from The Geek. So hi. I have two things for you. Number uh, first is, um, since uh, you're coming back for your season two of Iron Fist, um, did your training or um, martial arts um, and education like intensify? How did you prepare for that? Yes, yeah, so for the second season, I started training uh, around four months before we started shooting. We started shooting in December, so we started training in August. Mm -hmm. um, I did lots of various disciplines this time around. Uh, I worked with an ex Shaolin monk, which was pretty pretty fun, uh, down the Lower East Side in New York. Um, I did a lot of traditional kung fu with him, tai chi. Uh, I worked with a, uh, and then I also worked with a more uh, modern MMA fighter uh, in Williamsburg in, in New York, which was fun. I did meditation every day, yoga. I worked with a personal trainer with more kind of gymnastic style training uh, to keep me kind of toned, but also agile and flexible so I could take on the martial arts. And yeah, so it was, it was very intense. I, I trained for five days a week for four months leading up to uh, leading up to the show. And then once the show started, I continued training whilst having a heavy filming schedule. Often at the weekends, we'd go on the weekends to learn the fight choreography and continue the training. So, you know, when you were, when you were up for the role, um, how much did like actual knowledge about martial arts play into it, or was it more like it doesn't matter? We just want the right actor, and then we'll just teach you. That was later exactly on. yeah. Yeah, I didn't even realize there was going to be that many martial arts when I signed up right. for the show. It was really <laughs> so they, you didn't have to like do some martial arts moves during the audition. No, I know Sasha did. Uh, Sasha, who plays Davos, I know he had to uh, he had to do a bit of martial arts for his audition. But I think they were really just looking for the right uh, actor that embodied the character. And then everything else from there onwards was just um, all right. Process. So now we have our next question. Question number eight. Hi. Uh, Hi. Good afternoon, Finn. Um, my question is: uh, Can you tell us what it was like going into uh, the first season of Iron Fist? Um, like, what were your preparations, your mental notes, and how different is that process going into season two? Well, the second season is very different. Um, there was a lot more time. Uh, allowed for preparation. Um, with, the, with the first season, I, I, I left Game of Thrones in December, 
So my last day filming Game of Thrones was end of December, and then I started filming Iron Fist in March. So it was a very short turnaround time. I had to move countries, had to get the job, you know, it was, it was a very short turnaround time. Uh, this time round, I, I had a lot more time, and a, a different team as well. We had a new stunt coordinator, uh, Clayton Barber. He uh, has worked on films such as Creed, Black Panther, and it was really amazing working with him. He's a true professional. Uh, I saw him more as a coach than anything, and he was just very supportive of everyone on the show this year, and it was just a real, real great uh, process working with him, bringing the, uh, the choreography to a whole new level for the second season. You know what, since you were a part of both Game of Thrones and Iron Fist, with who are more protective of, like, leaks, plot leaks? Oh, Marvel. Oh, really? Marvel or, um... Because I remember even with Game of Thrones, when it comes to, uh, there were rumors that, you know, they would film different versions of endings just so that, you know, just in case something leaked. Yeah, I think they did that for the last... Wow. The last... Uh, the last uh, season? I think, right. I don't know. Um, yeah, but that makes sense. I mean, it's the ending of, like, in the throne. Right. Like, you don't want to screw that up. So I think it was important for them to, to film other versions of it. But, uh, yeah, you know, it's important that we keep secrets. Otherwise, it's going to be ruined. And then no one will watch the show. So. Right. So we have question number nine. I've been, um, I've been from the East, and I have two questions. First is, uh, what are the films that got you into acting? And second, uh, now that you're finished with the film, you're years ago, uh, how does it feel as a viewer? And are there any fun things that you're like? Yeah, um, when I was younger, I never really watched films. <laughs> I thought like that was what I wanted to do. Like, I never really looked up to, to actors in movies. That just, that wasn't how I, how I came into acting. Uh, it was just, a, it, for me, it was a more organic thing. It was more something that came from inside, um, rather than seeing something and letting it in. It was just a different process. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, I, I was at the Game of Thrones rap party the other week. They had, like, a program, a whole, like, program rap for the, the end of the show, and they invited all the old cast members over to celebrate, and it was really wonderful going back there and seeing everyone and, and just seeing the show, you know, come to its end and see everything go full circle. So, um, even though I'm not a part of that show on the day to day filming it, I'm still friends with everyone and um, I enjoy watching it. It's kind of nice just to watch the show and not know what's going on so I can watch it as a viewer and not be spoiled by, uh, <laughs> yeah. by already knowing what's going to happen. You never had the urge to, like, call one of your castmates and say, what will happen next? Nah. Nah. <laughs> nah. I don't like to be spoiled. I like to, uh, you know, I like to watch things and enjoy it. Right. Yeah. All right, so um, question number 10. Here. Hello. Hi, Finn. Let's go. My name is Malou. I'm from Daily Tribune. My question is, character-wise, how has Danny Rand changed or evolved or grown from season one to season two? And how has season, uh, how have you also grown, evolved, and changed from season one to season two? That's a good question. Uh, so let me start with Danny. I guess um, the biggest change in, in Danny in season two is at the end of Defenders, the last thing that Matt Murdock says to Danny before he dies is, protect my city. Um, in season one, Danny was constantly looking for a purpose. And, and now that Danny, had, uh, now that Matt has kind of given the, hand, the, the mantle of protector of New York to, uh, to Danny, it's giving him this renewed purpose, which allows him to be a lot more settled, a lot more confident in himself because he has this purpose. Um, he's also living with Colleen as well, so he's more settled in a home life as well. So he's really on the streets trying to balance a, a home life with a with a vigilante life, which you know is quite difficult. Um, personally, I don't really know how um, how I've changed. It's very difficult to you know. I'm sure all of you agree. Like, how how do you, how you know how do you process your own evolution in such a short period of time? Like, it's only been a year, really. Um, I guess I'm more just. I guess I'm, I, I guess a lot like Danny. I'm more just assured of myself, more relaxed. I I know in my mind what I, what I want more. I I, I, I yeah. I just there's more confidence. I guess. Um, more. I, I guess I feel more settled. Um, I've never really been settled because I've always moved around the place. Like I've always travelled a lot for the last ten years. I've always been in a different country every six months. Like a lot of travelling. And I guess I've just become more uh, used to that, more settled in that process. Um, yeah. 
All right, thank you very much. And number 11. Number 11? Uh, hi. Oh, there. Hi, friend. Uh, hi. Good afternoon. Welcome to the Philippines. Uh, I'd like to know, since you already mentioned that, uh, wait, how do you actually relate to Danny? That's one. And how do you relate to Doras? Um, I get, well, I, sh I share a lot of similarities with both characters. You know, the way I like to approach characters is I like to bring them out of me rather than put them on. Um, so I guess with Danny, I, I guess I relate to his his eternal uh, hope and optimism. But one of the great things I love about the character, and I think why he resonates so much with a lot of people, is that even in the face of adversity, even when he can be thrown everything, you know, and the world may be crumbling around him, he has the ability to see the the um, the, the light in the situation and the hope in the situation, and he fights for that. And I think that's a very admirable. Uh, character trait and it's something that I like to bring into my own life. Uh, with Loris as well, I kind of feel Loris is the same. He, he, you know, Loris is a very light individual. Um, he he fights for the side of good, and uh, I, I guess the fun thing about Loris was he was a very um, he he liked to have fun. You know, he was he was a knight of summer, and uh, I, yeah, I like to think of myself as that as well. I, I like to you know strive to find the the beauty in life and, and, and the fun things in life. So. All right, so question number 14? 12? Okay, okay, so we're moving back a little bit. Number 12? Uh, 12. So, okay, so what? 13, but this is 13. So this is? Okay, okay, so oh, they yeah. switch. Yeah, let's go back to them. Okay, we're moving back to 11. What's the best part about the the best part about being Danny Rand. You know what I really like about playing the character is when I come to these conventions, like I come to Comic Cons, and uh, kids come up to me, and they may be like between 12 or 16, and you can tell like. Because the character is a younger character out of the Defenders, it has a, a, a younger following. And it's really wonderful to see, to, to meet the younger fans and just see that, that kind of imagination and that, just that, that joy in them. And to be able to kind of like connect with that, I, I just find that really, um, it's just a wonderful thing to be able to do. Um, yeah. yeah. Alright, thank you. And 12? Yes, hello! Hi! Um, how are you? I'm part of a website called Play Without Apology and I, my question is, what are some kind of warm-ups you do? Like, you play different characters and they tend to have like different kinds of warm-ups when you get into them. So what's like the difference between, um, how do you get ready to be Dan? So when you work on a show like Iron Fist, you're working for five days a week six months a year, Monday to Friday, 12 hours a day. So it's very intense and you pretty much for those six months, you are that character. You don't have a chance to kind of step out of the character. You know, you're, you're, you're living it. And so really the, the warm-up and the, the preparation is in that period before you start shooting. So that four months that I was telling you about before, that is the warm-up. So being physically and mentally ready to take on this very physically intensive six month shoot. Um, that's that's the warm up time. Um, I also like to listen to music as well, but I, I like to do that anyway. Do you have so. like a Spotify playlist for that? Uh, I, I, well, I have a Spotify playlist, but it's, I don't have a specific one. I just like to listen to, to any kind of music. But you can check it out if you go onto my uh, my Instagram. There's a there's a link to my Spotify playlist. There's lots of great music there, so feel free to listen and have a boogie. All right, thank you. And since we went through 13, we're now 14. Hi. Hi. Uh, I'm Seth. I'm from the geek group, the media group called Culture Fit. Uh, I'm a comics guy, and since this is a comic convention, did you read any Iron Fist comics to prepare for your role? And uh, which would you say is your favorite? Um, I've read all of the comics. I, I have a huge stack of all of the Iron Fist comics at the end of my bed. Oh, and every time, every night before I go to sleep, I'll just pick one out and I'll just go over it. 
Uh, I re- I mean I, I love the Ed Brubaker the uh, the Immortal Lion Fist. I think that's a great that's a great great version. I also like the more recent Iron Fist comic as well. I think that's really interesting to see Danny much older. Um, the Power Man and Iron Fist comic that's a really good one as well. So I, I think they're all fantastic. They're just all very different. Uh, fantastic. All right, number fifteen. Hello, way back here. Oh, there. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Uh, I am BJ from uh, <clears throat> from Nerd Rage, and I just would like to ask the, you and Mike Bolter, You have had some great chemistry in the second season of the okay. game. Now, how did you guys work on getting that chemistry? Because we all know that Dan Yaran and Luke Cage really have this uh, partnership and so how did you get about going through that process? I think the thing with chemistry is you either have it or you don't. You, they, if you can't really work towards good chemistry. You either connect, either two people connect or they don't. And uh, me and Mike, <laughs> for whatever reason, we just get on. Like we just we just have good banter together. We have good natural chemistry as as, uh, as people. And uh, I think that really helps it translate on screen as well because I think you know most of the groundwork is done because me and Mike get on so well. And then when we're playing the characters and we're shooting the scenes, it's just a uh, I don't know. It just feels good because it's there's just a natural chemistry there. So I guess we're just lucky that it that it all just clicked. Uh, it's good casting as well. I think cast directors know like what actors to put with what, what actors. They know what was going to work. Um, but yeah, it was just natural. All right, now we have question number 16. Hello. Hi, hi, hi. Ben. I'm Grace from Econ. Um, I, I have two questions. First, um, how is it working with your Defenders castmates? Um, do you find any similarities between them and their characters in your life? Like, is Charlie Reese uh, like the quiet time? And next question. Um, if like you could swap roles with any of the defenders, which role would it be? Um, so all of uh, everyone's very different from their roles. Like Kristen is very funny; she's very bright, um, very goofy, and plays lots of practical jokes. Very different from uh, Jessica Jones. Uh, Mike is again very goofy. Like everyone's, I don't know, everyone's very different from their characters. I, I think. Um, we had a lot of fun filming Defenders together, but we all get on very well. Um, and if I was to play any other Defender other than Danny, maybe maybe Jessica Jones, just because she gets to drink all the time. <laughs> you should have like a, one Halloween where you all dress up as the, as other the opposite. <laughs> yeah. That would be funny. Yeah, just switch it up. Yeah, I'd take JJ. Okay. And we have next question number 17. Hi, I'm Earl from the Fanboy SEO. You know, welcome to the Philippines. And uh, well, my question is if, for example, you, uh, DC was the first to tap you and they had their own streaming service, which is happening right now, and they were looking into giving you a superhero, uh, superhero series, what do you think would that be for you? What would your big be? What's the question? What would your DC superhero show be? Oh, DC. Um, I like Aquaman. I think Aquaman's a uh, really cool hero. Uh, quite interesting. Um, yeah, I thought we'd like Alright, thanks. Alright, now question number 18. Hi there, um, Hi. just two very important questions. I, I'm sure you've watched Things You Are. Yes. Yeah. Do you think your character would have survived this match? Yes. Of course he would. He's got the Iron Fist. He can channel his chi. Yeah, of course. He would totally take on Thanos. Easily. Alright. Um, next question. Um, how would you rank your Iron Fist against Force Hammer, Captain America Shield, and Hulk Skin? He'd beat all of them. <laughs> like, come on. Like, he can channel his chi. Like that's a really powerful thing to be able to channel your chi. I think it beats any any superpower going. I think if Danny is able know. to really channel it, both of his fists and all of his being, he'll be able to take on any threat for sure. Yeah. How how many? I mean, like ballpark fig, a figure. How many photos have you taken where you were fake punching a fan? Not enough. <laughs> <laughs> I want to take more fake yeah. punching fans. Fake. Fake punching. Yeah, that's always a good photo, actually. Right? Yeah. All right, so um, next up, uh, question number 19. Hi. Hello. Hi, Vin. I'm Earth of Earthy Gorgeous. I have two questions here. First one is if you're going to cosplay, 
Which part? Yeah. What do you like? What do you like? Um, do, you, uh, do you guys have adventure time over here? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay, great. <laughs> so I, 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 um, I love that program. It's probably one of my. It's something I geek about as well. Adventure time. Uh, I'd probably play uh, anything from Adventure Time. Maybe Lemon Grab. You know Lemon Grab? Uh, yeah. Or, uh, <laughs> I like, uh, Finn, yeah, Finn's an obvious one, but <laughs> Finn's a great one. Um, I like the, uh, what's the, what's the little, uh, the, the elephant that makes all the apple pies? Oh, yeah, You, you know yeah, the one that I mean? Yeah, no, she's, I forgot. She's funny. Uh, probably, I, 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 I can't play, cosplay everyone from Adventure Time. Did that. you ever think of like, you know how like some, some of the actors would like crash uh, a comic con wearing like uh, a disguise? Yes. And then little do they know you have your, you know, your main actress. Did you ever think of doing something like that? I've done that before. I've, I've oh, you have? Yeah, I've been, not, not dressed as Iron Fist, but I've, I've, you know, there's been comic cons I've been to and I've got on a mask and went yeah. around the... Uh, Just went around the, yeah, the venue. To check it out, to see yeah. what it's like. All right, so the other question? Yeah. Um, if you were a food, what would you do? Oh, it's a food. Yeah. Ooh. Cool. A classic. Today I feel like a spaghetti bolognese. Yeah. Okay. Because? Yeah. I don't know. Oh, I, just <laughs> like, I just feel like it. I just feel like wiggly. Oh, man. Oh, man. Um, but I guess every day is different, so ask me tomorrow. I'll be a uh, different food. <laughs> All right. Thank you. And uh, question Hi. number 20. Hi. Hi. My friend Katati Bain from Jimmy. Speaking of food. Oh, but look. It's notorious for Filipinos, for foreigners who come to the Philippines. It's basically a duck, duck egg. Oh, okay. But it's a fetus, right? It's a fetus. Oh, no. So it's not like you'll find a yolk. You will find an actual duckling inside. Are you offered a challenge? <laughs> I don't know if I am. No. It's not for the faint at heart. <laughs> but it's your adventure. I think I'll stick with the soup and the dessert. And the halo. <laughs> that sounds good. <laughs> Um, yes, go ahead. I was browsing through your Instagram and I saw you love nature. Travel here, I just, I, like I was saying earlier, like I wish I could, I had more time here to go and explore some more of the natural parts of, of the country. Um, I don't know specifically where I, because I knew I didn't have much time here, I didn't like, because usually if I know that I have extra time, like I'll get my map out and I'll, I'll make a whole itinerary of places that I need to go to, but I, I definitely know next time I'm back in this part of the world that I will definitely come back and I will definitely explore the Philippines. It seems like a beautiful country with some really beautiful landscapes, so I'd love to come back and explore. You really Palawan. should. Palawan? Yes, definitely. Palawan. Palawan. Remember that, that place. I, yeah, well, Palawan. Next time you make your itinerary, yeah, include for sure. that. Yeah, for sure. All right, thank you, and I think that's the final question. So, Finn, can we request you uh, to, you know, give our friends from the media a solo photo? Yes. Yep. Punch, punching photo. I guess I'd just like to say I, I want to thank everyone for, for coming here today. I'm looking forward to meeting everyone. <laughs> and uh, I just want to thank you for the continued support watching the show. I really hope you enjoyed the second season of uh, Iron Fist. We put a lot of love, a lot of hard work, and a lot of care into making this season to you guys. So I, I hope you can enjoy it. I, I, I really had a great time filming it, and I hope you can have a great time watching it. So thanks for being here, thanks for watching, and I, I hope to see you at the comic con. So, All right, so ladies and gentlemen, we have Finn Jones. Thank you very much. Thank you, Finn, and of course our friends from the media. Thank you as well for joining our media session for this afternoon. Thank you. Thank you.